Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Cecil here with a video here today. Bringing us a tip video on how to discover, explore, design ideas. Now, probably the most asked question ever on the channel, and I think I nailed it in today's video. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I kind of like like my past process. If you guys are wondering why I've been getting like at least like two videos a week in the past like two weeks, um, I didn't do it, but it's okay. So today's video is actually sponsored by Melano. If you guys have no idea what Melano is, it's a free mood board program where you can just go ahead, of course, make your own mood board, send it to clients, share it, edit it, etc. With a whole bunch of different groups. Now, if you guys anything like me i actually have this program for myself for about two and a half months now uh not a program but a web app by the way i keep saying program but like i used to open my sticky notes okay i'm not even kidding like 70 of them would just pop up and then my computer would actually freeze and sometimes it would just crash and it really sucked for me personally uh never had to go through that again thankfully uh but yeah i just went ahead i kind of found this really cool site for myself and i was like yo bro this is gonna work out for me i approached them with like a whole sponsor idea they were like i'm down and then basically i've been loving this actual site ever since and i forgot to do the sponsor video uh but i mean hey i'm here now and i i honestly appreciate melanote so very much that i'd be an advocate i i'm an honest advocate and it's the reason why i'm getting more videos out so with that being said hope you guys enjoyed today's tip video today and i'm super excited today because in the next like four hours or so i haven't slept in the past like like at least 27 hours um yeah my family's coming to visit it's gonna be great i can't wait and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed today's video today talk to you guys later i'm in a great mood and i hope you have freaking just great mood as well <laughs> later all right guys so firstly you guys need to know the more experience that you guys have discovering new art the better a lot of your guys's viewing inspirations actually might come from only one source and that's probably most likely twitter i mean that was mine for a very very long time but a lot is just knowing where to honestly look now, with plenty of places to actually choose from to actually scroll and, and explore all the designs, Behance happens to be one of my personal favorite ones. You guys can find new trends, a whole bunch of different styles, and of course, a lot of projects to actually study with. Now, I know a lot of you guys, of course, already use Behance, but I'm also really curious how many of you guys, when you guys are finished viewing a really cool project, you're just like, I'm going to go ahead and check the tags. I don't know if many of you guys do that, but you you literally never know the world that you're missing because usually when they put a tag in there, there's a community for it, there's a style for it, there's a name for it, so you, not, you really might not know what you're missing out when you're you got that really good like you're just like that was literally really really cool y you know if you kind of like try to search for it again like you know where you're gonna find it at guys just look at the tags you never know what you're gonna find i just want to point that out there because i don't know how many of you guys already do it that's it that's all i want to say now of course behance is not the only place to look for design inspiration and i'm actually curious to what sites you guys might go for or what forum website whatever let me know in the comment section below like what do you actually look through when you guys are looking for inspiration so now with that being said though, i'm gonna go ahead and point out pinterest as a pretty good secondary site to go ahead and look through now as memes as that might sound to you i don't know if you've ever been in a situation where you're on google and you type in you know blank png and then you get pinterest and you're just like why and I also do not want to sign in. Please stop. Like, I don't know if that was you guys, but I've also felt that. And, you know, honestly, I kind of signed in one time and it was actually not that bad. Like, I was, I kind of like, of course, do the search directory, type in art, type in abstract. There's always going to be different fee. Like, I guess you would say, of course, different people on each different site. There's going to be more people who prefer this and over that for whatever reason. But it's also good to take inspiration from every single direction as well as Google, you know, Google things, go ahead and behance things, go ahead and search things to Pinterest, different types of design as well. You never know what's going to strike your interest and i'm just gonna go ahead and say you know pinterest is a pretty good choice as well all right now to top it all off the whole where to look thing of course i'm going to go ahead and put out their communities uh communities being a, the discord community maybe like a website form you know i don't even think people use website forms that much but maybe those are too but when i say community itself you can also build your own community if you guys are you know you have a few friends that you really, really connect with or you guys have a lot of interaction there's no reason not to kind of be linked up and kind of be in the same chat the same atmosphere and kind of throw feedback from someone you guys like of course trust or understand where they know they're not trying to be mean to you but of course trying to give you like that strict uh, criticism it's really weird sometimes to get it from random people and be like oh dude you're just like bashing my work however when you get it from people who you might actually trust or know of right it's a little more like it's a little more open-minded like I, I can say it to myself as well not everyone takes criticism always the best way and sometimes when it comes from someone random you're just like oh dude what like whoa like chill like chill out right however that person might be coming with the best intentions possible but since you don't know them really it's just going to come off really weird sometimes so I'm going to go ahead and say communities are a really really good spot and I'm also going to go ahead and say of course plug in my own uh, i have a community discord if you guys want to post it in there there's a really cool spot called design work where you guys can post you know of course your own work get some feedback and give some feedback and just have a really all-around good time with other designers who are in there whatever kind of illustration 3d whatever they might end up being right overall i think it's a pretty cool concept being a part of a community now of course you want to join mine it's always in the description down below and uh yeah that's that's that all right guys so now for tip number two we are basically looking at a piggyback of our first tip and that is when you guys are scrolling through your actual inspiration or when you guys are scrolling through work you guys want to completely understand and realize exactly why you love and like a design so much 
Now, as obvious as that might sound to some of you guys, it's actually not as obvious to other people. The process of understanding what resources stand out to you can really separate and propel your actual learning process. Now, it could be as simple as just appreciating the elements that are actually in the design, right? It could be just a stock that just kind of really, really sticks out to you. Or maybe it's the typography or the font itself, or maybe like this weird like typography has this really cool detail or this really cool little element next to it that kind of like kind of hypens it up or makes it look really, really fast and moving, right? Or it could be as simple as the color contrast of the actual banner, right? Maybe it's like a really cool work with like black and whites. And you're just like, hey, I love the way this kind of like really kind of balances off with each other, right? You'll never completely understand and realize what it is that it's kind of like really kind of holding you back until you speak and understand what other things make you really happy and make you go, oh, that's so cool. I wish I can be that good because without completely saying it to yourself. You can't actually go back and compare your, you know, you're not really necessarily comparing yourself to another person. You're basically comparing yourself to the things that you actually like and what you can compare and say, hey, this text looks really, really cool this way. Maybe I should try to make it look really, really cool in that way, right? The more you basically look at a design and really deconstruct it, it the, the more you can actually get more from it like you might actually start looking at it and be like oh i didn't even notice that this is this is there and then that's kind of like why this works you know what i mean so when you guys really deconstruct and understand what you guys are looking at you guys are giving yourself the biggest break possible because then you can go back into your own work and be like hey i remember when i looked at this over here this looks really, really cool because of this reason maybe this is why this is not kind of like giving me that same feel Right, so I think it's very, 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 like super, super important to really understand what you guys are designing and what it is that you guys really like about design. Now, with all that being said, this gives us a pretty perfect segue into our actual sponsor today's video, which is actually Melanote. It's basically a free mood board that gives you the flexibility and, of course, the clarity of whatever notes you choose to put in there. However, in this situation, we're definitely talking about, of course, putting your design inspiration, all your little notes, all your little pictures, maybe even the design itself in the actual mood board. So now you guys are pretty much watching the whole breakdown process of how this whole entire thing goes for me. So as you can see, these little highlight little sections here, it's actually a print screen program. It's called Light Shot. You just simply highlight something, right? Uh, you can write on it as you want. You can see me. You can see me use it in my live streams a lot as well from the portfolio reviews, right? So you can like highlight something. You press Control. C, you go and uh, right into Melanote, you go and press control V, it puts it in the unsorted column pretty much right away, it makes it super, super seamless for me personally, uh, and really quick for me to put some ideas in there, right, so the unsorted column never goes away, you can see me just dragging some things in there, it never goes away though, it just kind of stays in the actual cloud itself until you put it in the actual mood board on its own, so I actually made these little columns by simply just dragging the column in there, take the picture, taking the picture, putting it into the column, putting a note right under the picture, and what I like to do is just simply put down what it made me think. Like, what, what was my reason of putting it in there in the first place? What was the immediate reaction? I was like, oh, I like the little colors. I like the noise on the left-hand side. You can see in the background, I put, I like the noise, the typography I liked a lot. So... My one example is when you guys see things, when you guys like them, whatever it is, if you guys are on Behance or scrolling through, whatever makes you think, just put it in your mood board. Put it in Melanote. I'm telling you, there's more wonders that it can do for you than it can ever do any harm whatsoever. I can't tell you the feeling it is when you guys open up like Melano or something like that, you open up a project board and you just see all these different ideas. It's a beautiful, beautiful feeling. I definitely suggest you guys to try it. So what I'm gonna do now though, is I'm gonna put it all these little notes that I had in Melanote, uh, right? And it's gonna put it into like my Photoshop and just see what I can do with it. And maybe I make something cool. Hopefully I do, let's just see. Also, guys, one little quick note, I use Melanote a lot for myself as like a nice little mood board kind of thing. Now, of course, you can use yours as like a client project, you can use it as briefs. You can also send the actual briefs themselves to your clients and share the actual project. You can go to like templates here, you go to create a brief, you can just drag this on here, right? This nice little template for you guys, you open it up. It gives you guys a pretty much a whole breakdown of how you guys can actually go ahead and actually utilize this for clients, right? I'm gonna clear the content example though. Right, you of course you would kind of type whatever you want to type in but you can invite your team here you can go to like invite someone to edit only to view and leave comments so this is probably what you want to do for like clients you just simply click on it and type in their email and just send it to them i think it's pretty freaking cool i also just want to quickly add that for my own sake because i know uh of course it's not just used for how like i use it i think it's pretty cool and of course you're gonna use it for other situations as well all right homies now for the last tip in today's video it's nice and short nice and simple and it's probably the most important one as well and that is to put the time and practice in like it, it's as simple as that i cannot express to you the amount of like love and appreciation i have for design right now as like full time for 100 these now it's 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 a beautiful thing when you get to put ideas to work now even if they fail you have a mood board going guys now let's just say you you know in the next few hours you just try it out you try out melanote right whatever 
you put those ideas to work if they fail even if they fail those gears are now turning and they're going to turn forever now you the next idea that you have is probably going to blossom it's going to be way way better way more cleaner and whatever that failure happened from before you're going to learn from it and you're going to excel from it and then you're of course going to know maybe the better way to do it and you're going to of course now do it right i can't I, I, I can't explain that methodology any better than, uh, somebody tried to use that word, uh, any better because it's as simple as that. Please put your practice in. I, I, I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video here today. I do truly hope you guys try out Melano. I do truly hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Um, by this time you guys watch this video, I'm still hanging out with my family. They leave on the next Thursday. I, I just am very, very happy right now. And I, I'm, I'm very thankful to be able to give these tips as well to you guys. And I do hope you guys enjoy your today, uh, enjoy your day today. I'm sorry. I'm so excited. And I'll tell you guys later. Sesso HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love. Peace. I Just enjoy yourselves.